Nolan's Rescuers were the Animal Protective League APL, based in Cleveland, Ohio. The organization actually dates back to 1913 and they've since grown into a large non-profit animal welfare group. Furthermore, the society says that if it has the space, at no time will it refuse a domestic animal admission. We never turn companion animals in need away due to their age, health or temperament, the organization wrote on Facebook. This year, thousands of injured, abused or homeless animals will come through our doors. Once inside, they receive the food, shelter and medical care they so desperately need. Nolan the puppy is just one of those animals, but his story is an unusual one. On June 12, 2013, a humane officer responded to a report of animal cruelty. During the investigation, the animal control worker discovered a newborn pit bull cross dumped in a garage. Flies riddled the poor pooch, who couldn't have been more than a day old. Unable to locate the pup's mom and surmising that the young fella desperately needed care, the humane officer placed him in the capable hands of the APL, and the staff there named the puppy Noland. Further investigation also turned up Nolan's mother, a dog named Molly, later that same day. Molly was actually found at the same address but had been chained up in the yard outside and was deprived of food. Understandably, Molly was in bad shape. She weighed just 30 pounds and was clearly in no condition to raise Nolan herself. This left Cleveland APL in a difficult situation. Sharon Harvey, the organization's CEO, described Nolan's situation to ABC News. Pups that old without their mom, their survival rate is pretty iffy, she said on June 19, 2013. With that in mind, Nolan's future was uncertain, to say the least. However, after discussing its options, the APL team came up with a solution, to find Nolan a foster mother. Easier said than done, perhaps, especially as the stand-in mom they had in mind was a different species to Nolan. Would she realize the puppy was different and reject him? On June 20, 2013, Cleveland APL's operations director, Ice Dunlap, described events to Fox 8's Annette Lawless. We held the puppy up to her, Dunlap said. She came up, she started sniffing, and then immediately nuzzling and licking. She just accepted the puppy as one of her own. Dunlap said that the connection was immediate, and while this was obviously great news, it was also perhaps a little surprising. That's because Nolan's substitute parent wasn't another pit bull. In fact, it wasn't even another dog. Nolan's surrogate mom was actually a rescue cat named Lurleen, and the maternal Moggy had given birth to her own litter of kittens just two days previously. Furthermore, not only did Lurleen welcome Nolan into her care, but the puppy also gained four sibling kittens. Happily, despite the obvious differences, Nolan's new family either didn't notice or didn't care that he wasn't a cat. As it turned out, APL theorized it was the former. Nolan doesn't know she's a cat, Harvey said, and I don't think Lurleen knows he's a dog. Dunlap readily agreed. It's adorable, right? You just can't beat it, she enthused. They don't know one is different from the other. They're just one happy family. Of course, since dogs are larger than cats, Nolan still needed a little extra attention. He certainly required a lot more feeding than his kitten brothers and sisters in order to grow big and strong. Indeed, one of the APL's volunteer staff fed him at least seven times a day, but his foster mom didn't seem to mind the new addition being treated a little differently to the rest of her brood. Lurleen loves him. It's so adorable, Harvey told ABC News. However, Harvey and Jody Hunter, director of development at APL, did admit to a few worries as Nolan began to grow. They thought puppy play might be a bit overwhelming for the other kittens. According to a report on Cleveland.com from December 19, 2013, the pair informed the Petco Foundation of their apprehension. We were a little concerned that Nolan would get too big and too rough for his less robust feline family, they wrote, but Lurleen had things under control. It didn't take the kittens long to learn how to put him in his place, Harvey and Hunter continued. Actually, Nolan blended in with the family so well, he was even found using the litter box a few times. And with APL's delicate care, Nolan continued to flourish. Naturally, Nolan's story went viral, and social media users seemed to love the adorable mismatched family. To date, 5 million people have watched the footage on YouTube, with many leaving positive comments. Love knows no bounds, one wrote. But the cat and dog clan didn't just bring joy to people's lives. They also helped bring a $25,000 windfall to the APL after the society's sterling work was recognized by the Petco Foundation. And the tale didn't end there. Nolan and the cats all got their just rewards. 
Brilliantly, every one of the animals found loving forever homes. Even Nolan's mom, Molly, made a full recovery in time. In fact, Molly gained a new canine sibling called Jerry and ended up with a very special neighbor, another rescued pit bull. The last word goes to the APL and Sharon Harvey, without whose dedication, Nolan, Lurleen, Molly and the rest would be a lot less better off. Truly, Nolan and Lurleen's story encompasses everything we do at APL, Harvey told Cleveland.com, protecting animals from cruelty and neglect, staff members and volunteers working together to nurse them back to health finding them wonderful new homes, and learning from them about the power of forgiveness and unconditional love and acceptance. And when you get right down to it, that's really what it's all about, isn't it?